Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Paulina's Kitchen Canada by Violetta. Today I'm going to show you how this organic rhubarb has grown, as i shown you at the beginning. And now they are ready to get harvested. And today we're harvesting some for me to take home and make some pie or rhubarb cake. And I'm planning to make a cheesecake rhubarb cake with some chocolate on top. So stay with me and I hope you will like this video and watch till the end. In the meantime, please click the like, share and the subscribe button to support this channel. And also don't forget to click on the notification bell down below of this uh, video to keep you updated of my new uploaded videos. So here, my friend John here is pulling some of the fat rhubarb stems, which means they are now ready. And it's also, it's rhubarb season and it's perfect for them to pluck them up and time to make some rhubarb strawberry pies or whatever dessert you're planning to do out there using this wonderful rhubarb plant. Did you know that rhubarb is the most undermined plant but it's got a lot of nutritional value or benefits to our body and to our health? One is uh, it contains an anthocyanin which is an anti-cancer property. It also contains antioxidant and calcium and vitamin C as well, which explains yeah, because not. of its tartness. And you need a lot of, uh, not a lot of sugar, but a bit of sugar, or you can combine it with sweet other sweet fruit like strawberries in order to balance the tartness of this wonderful plant. Rhubarb is not only a good source of vitamin C, but also a good source, very good source of vitamin K1, which is very important for blood clotting and for our bone health. Are they going to grow taller, higher? No. That's probably it. <clears throat> what happens what do you mean? if you let them grow? Probably get tough, tough. And the leaves, the, will the leaves go yellow? Uh, I don't know if they go yellow or not, but uh, yeah. I'd say it's pretty well right now. So we didn't have a lot of good weather. Yeah. Yes? Okay, that's good. Now we take out the leaves. Unfortunately, no matter how big the leaves are, the rhubarb leaves are not edible and they can be poisonous and fatal. It could give you vomiting and diarrhea. John will just have to spread this uh, huge and big leaves onto his organic garden for fertilizer and also to deter the uh, weeds from growing up so quick. Too bad we can't... The, the leaves aren't edible. No, I think they're poison. Yeah, they're poisonous. <coughs> well, you know the avocado pit. They thought it used to be, people think it's poisonous. And now, you can eat the, the other way around. You can eat the avocado pit. Did you know that? No. Well, these are think tomatoes are poison too. And also, they're eating banana peel. That's ridiculous. 
It's only for pigs. Now people want to eat it. Ah, the slugs started to hmm? try to eat the leaves. leaves. According to Google, this wonderful plant rhubarb was Maybe originated right from China and was brought to Northern America and to other countries in Europe. So well, now everybody are enjoying meat. this wonderful plant that has a lot of beneficial, health beneficial and value to everyone. Mm -hmm. Sells by hundred pounds. So organic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are organic rhubarb. Rhubarb comes in uh, different varieties. Some are red in color and some are green in color on the stems. You still think pictures? Yeah. Stop. Okay. I hope you guys have enjoyed this short video, a little bit information about rhubarb plant and as you can see here I brought it home, chopped it up, I will be mixing it with this fresh strawberry and cook up a rhubarb strawberry cheesecake with chocolate on top. I hope you guys will watch it on my next episode. Thank you again for watching and bye for now. Remember to eat healthy in order to live healthy.